This is actually the probably the fourth, the fifth time I've been to Poland. Uh, yeah, not the first time in Warsaw because I've been here a couple of times. I've been in Poznan as well. I, I did a concert with my dad there and yeah, I did some promo things. And yeah, Poland's a very beautiful place, beautiful people. I always enjoy to come here. I'm so happy, I'm so happy this time to be with you and I hope we're, everyone is going to enjoy the moments. Um, I tried some soups, because I, I know that soups in particular are, I think, one of the dishes more, uh, let's say, famous, no? And even because the, my, the, the wife of my sound engineer, she's Polish, so before coming to Poland, she said, uh, try some of, of our things, and so I'm here as well to try some of your delicious dishes. I probably noticed my musician talent um, since I was a, a little kid, maybe. I mean, the talent, you know, I still have to, to, um, to how do you say, to demonstrate to the world that I, that I have something special, but I can tell you that I was into music since I was born, because as you can imagine, my dad was singing all day long, every day of my life, since I was in my mom's belly. I started to play the piano at the age of six years old and I was singing just for, my, just for myself, for my passion, because I liked it. And then the very first appearance I did on, on, on public with people was Follow Me, the duet I did with my father. And that's the moment where I understood that um, the passion for music was going, going into something more special. I was born with opera and, and you know, those classical as Sinatra and, uh, but at the same time I was growing up in a different generation. So I was uh, listening to, I was going from rap as like Eminem to more rock as Queen. But more in general I was very much in, into, into pop. It's not really hard to be the son of, of, of my, yeah, I would say of my father because I see him as a father and not as a, as a big artist. And I think that has to be like that, no? Because that's, that's the person that grew, grew you up uh, since you were very little. And, and instead I, I took this as, a, as an advantage because he, he, he could teach me a lot, a lot of things on music, on how to sing how to, let's say, approach to, to, you know, to this world, to TVs, to interviews, to, to the stage especially. It's possible that people uh, compare me to my father and that, that, that's obvious and even right, you know? But I think that everyone has his own career, his own way, and whenever you have a passion, you just have to follow it and to not really think about anything else, you know? Just dip in and, and love, and you have to love what you're doing. Solo in Italian means alone and this song I wrote uh, in Milan uh, almost three years ago was inspired by a fragile aspect of my character because um, that it's loneliness and this is uh, probably caused by the fact that since I was a little kid I was uh, looking at my father leaving home and for work and traveling a lot and even if I knew that he was doing that for, for, the, for the good of, of, of us and of a lot of people. You know, for a little child, it's not easy to understand it. And, and so, I, 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 today that I see myself in the same position, traveling so much, leaving all the people that I love home, starting from, you know, friends, the family, it's not easy. And so I wanted to talk about this theme that at the same time, it's, it's beautiful, not because Finally, I'm starting to realizing what I always wanted in my in my life, and so I'm 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 living this dream. <laughs>